What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about all of the ways that you can add weight to your machine. Now, you might be asking yourself, why in the world would I want to add weight to my machine? And there are numerous reasons why you would want to add weight to your machine. So let's go ahead and talk about those really quick here. For one, anytime we are running a front end loader, you're gonna be able to go into your operator manual for that loader and see what the required amount of rear ballast is to run that loader. So whenever we are thinking about picking up weight here in the front, what we have to think about is whenever we are picking up that weight it can be very very easy to get heavier here in the front than we are in the rear if we do not have that rear ballast so therefore we are looking at needing to add rear weight to the machine anytime we are running a front end loader now you may also have to add weight to your machine maybe say in the front or just to the machine all in general because you're needing to put more power to the ground because of rear engaging implements so if you are pulling a heavy plow or maybe you are lifting up something really heavy at your three point such as a three point mounted sprayer or a three point mounted plow or a three point mounted planter you may need to add weight into the front maybe using such things as suitcase weight so there are just numerous different reasons why we would need to add weight to these machines so let's go ahead and talk about the ways that we can get that done now our first one here is probably going to be the most common which is going to be wheel weights this is what you're going to see on a lot of machines you are going to see these stackable wheel weights that are mounted right here on the outside easy to see when sometimes we can actually have these that are mounted on the inside of the wheel that aren't seen so depending on how much weight you need to add add Adding wheel weights to a machine is one way of doing that. Now, another way that we can get into, and a lot of times we call this invisible ballast, would be adding fluid to our rear tires here. So what we can do is we can go in and have somebody come and replace the air with fluid in these tires. There's gonna be multiple different options here. One of those very popular options is gonna be something called rim guard. That is gonna be a fluid that is made up of, of an organic material that's going to help coat the inside of the tire, fill it up to add weight, and also protect that rim from any rust or damage on the inside when you're using that. Now, depending on the amount of weight that you're going to need, you also have the option here of adding an implement to the rear of your machine to add for that counterweight. But depending on what we are doing with this machine and what we are needing to accomplish, sometimes having a rear implement here at the back may not be the best choice for what you're doing. But say we are doing loader work and we're able to put an implement back here, maybe such things as a box blade or a shredder or something to add that amount of weight to get us over that threshold of what your loader requires, that could be an option here. You also have the option back here of adding such things as a ballast box. So you could have just that big metal box back here that we can fill with different types of material. This is also going to give you the option to change weights depending on what type of material you put in it you could fill these ballast box with concrete to give you that heaviest weight maybe you want to fill this with sand maybe you want to fill it with stone maybe you want to fill it with dirt whatever those things are and then those can actually be removed to get rid of some of that weight so that you kind of have a variant there to being able to play with the different amount of weight to go into that machine but ballast boxes are another good way to add weight to the rear of this machine and then another way that you can look in to is looking at getting a weight bracket so you can actually get a bracket made that mounts to your three point here or we can put on suitcase weights now suitcase weights we'll get into just a little bit more whenever we go to the front of the tractor but these are going to be those weights that you see that hang either at the front of the tractor or sometimes you'll see these on the big four-wheel drive tractors that hang right behind the cab that could be an option here at the rear as well now speaking of those suitcase weights here's going to be a good example here on the front of this tractor you are going to see these weights that are lined up here in the front so this tractor is going to be one that is obviously going to be used for more of those rear ground engaging attachments at the brat at the back so therefore we are looking for additional weight here in the front so here we have the suitcase weights that are lined up on this front bracket so like i said getting that weight out here on the front making sure that we have enough power to the ground on our front axle as we do at the rear once we get that implement hooked up helps 
keep that weight distribution even from the front to the rear to keep that power at a steady and being able to move that machinery through the field, maintaining that constant amount of power. Now adding weight to these machines all boils down to one thing. All of it boils down to is adding stability to that machine. Whether it be adding stability at the rear for using that front end loader or adding stability in the front to make sure we are heavy enough, like I said, for those rear ground engaging attachments. Or we may be looking for extra weight because we are gonna be on some uneven ground. So adding weight is a very important part of this, but we also want to think about whenever we're adding weight, we want to think about the stabilization of our tractor. Are we only adding weight in the places that we think we need it, or are we thinking all the way around the box here? Now, I'm using a couple of old tractors here for an example, but one thing that we may also want to consider whenever we're adding this weight is, do we have the right amount of wheel spacing? Do we have a wide enough stance along with that weight to make sure that we are stable in those uneven conditions? So for instance, here on the back of this tractor, you can see just how wide these tires are spread out. And that's because they are on a bar style axle here, or they are adjustable to be able to move those in and out. Whereas if we look at this tractor, we can see that this one is a lot more narrow than the other one that we previously looked at. Now, if this is a problem that we're looking to solve, then this may be an option. Looking into something like some wheel spacers. Now, these here are going to be for those larger tractors with a lot larger wheels but you can get these in various different sizes various different widths that are going to fit your machine so if you're looking to get a little wider stance maybe we're not looking to go out quite about 15 inches like these are but if we're looking to go a few inches out there are options out there to get wheel spacers and not only are they going to add a little bit of width to your machine but they also aid in adding that weight to that rear end as well and not only whenever we're looking at wheel spacers do we need to be thinking about just adding width but we also could think about looking into is my machine able to have dual wheels because a lot of times on these tractors even if we're talking about small compact utility tractors you do have the option of adding dual wheels to that machine it may just be a bit of an aftermarket ad rather than something you can get from the factory. So just remember that whenever we're operating this machinery, we wanna make sure that we are doing it as safe as possible and adding rear weight and stability to our tractors is most of the time the number one thing we can do to help avoid these accidents. So make sure that you are checking out these different options for your tractors, whether it be adding those additional metal weights, wheel weights, suitcase weights, maybe we're adding that liquid ballast or maybe we're just widening out the rear end of our tractor, adding in those spacers or possibly even adding duels, whatever those things are to make sure that you are compliant with the amount of ballast that you need to run your front end loader or those rear attachments, make sure that you're doing so, so that you are avoiding any type of accidents that can be avoided. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to go check out the rest of the channel. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.